Outdated technology, fire and rescue equipment that should have been replaced 10 years ago at risk of possibly breaking down or not working at all. The City of South Fulton Fire and Rescue Department applied for a $1 million federal grant today to make sure they can keep you safe. 11 Alive's Don White has more on how supply chains are now making the problem worse throughout Metro Atlanta. At any given time, a tool can break. So you want to keep it maintenance. Do you want to keep it new? And so we're getting to that point in our department where a lot of equipment is coming to the end of its life cycle. South Fulton Fire and Rescue Chief Chad Jones wants to make sure these old vehicles and the equipment inside them gets upgraded or replaced before it affects response times or his department's ability to serve the community. We're looking at adding some equipment to engines, hose, uh, we're looking to upgrade our arson investigation tools and some safety equipment for uh, if we have to deal with civil unrest, active shooters. The department inherited Fulton County's old and outdated equipment when South Fulton was founded in 2017. Now Jones is hoping to use the grant to also update EMS units with equipment for cardiac arrest and heart dysrhythmia patients. Our extrication tools, we're hoping to go with newer versions of extrication tools and not only save people's lives, but save our environment. Supply chain issues are also compounding the problem for South Fulton and other departments across the region. The last pumper order we made, that's carrying about an 11 to 12, even 13 month delivery time right now. If you go to an aerial or a ladder truck that's being pushed out to 15, 16 months just because of supply chain issues that manufacturers are struggling to get steel and aluminum and a lot of the things that they need to build these trucks. So at this point, South Fulton Fire and Rescue officials expect to know whether they're going to get that FEMA grant in the next couple of months.